how to extract all the digits from a number so just take one example and then i'll explain eight seven five nine okay so we have this number and we have to extract all the digits from this number so i will divide this number with 10 and then we will get eighty seven then five seven seven nine then five fifty nine so we got nine as a reminder then we will take the this number eight seven five again we will divide with ten then it will be eighty seven five seven 75 okay so now we will take this one as a 87 we will divide the same with 10 so 87 then we'll take the last number as a 10 so the 8 is already smaller than 10 so we will put here as a 0 and 10 into 0 is 0 so it will be 0 and then this will be 8 so if you will notice then you will get to know that we have got the remainder as a first as a 9 then 5 then 7 and then 8 so this will be our approach while writing the program so suppose we have taken this number we will save this number in integer variable let's say x 8759 one more thing I would like to tell you that why we have divided this number with 10 only because this number is in decimal number systems that's the main reason we have divided this number with 10 so if it was octal we would divide with 8 so now I have taken this number 8759 and I will use just take one more variable which says digits and then use modulo operator and then 10 so we are using modulo operator with 10 and whatever the remainder will be we will get the result as 9 so we we got our first digit so what will be the next approach is that we have to remove one digit from this number so we will take the same x and we will divide as 10 so we all know this is the division operator and if we are using an integer type of variable so the de float value i mean the decimal value will be discarded so we will get as a 875 so now this will be the approach first we will extract the digit from here and then further the same number we will divide by 10 and we will get the another number so this is the step one so what would be the step Two is that now in x we have 875 so again there will be digit and this this will be x modulo 10 i mean x is 875 and then we will get as a 5 and then again we will divide the same x x by 10 and then we will get 87 so this will be our approach and by doing this we will divide the same number until it becomes the number becomes 0 okay so now i will write the same uh, this was the logic so before writing the program i just thought to make you understand that what will be our logic to implement this program if your logic is clear if you are clear what will be the approach then you can definitely write the code in your own way so let's see uh, we all know that hash include main function then i have declared two variable which is one is number and the another one is digit now i am uh, printing printf enter the number so it will print enter the number and a scan f i'm just a scanning that entered number into the num num variable so now i am using while loop and i'm i'm putting this condition as num is greater than 0 so whenever the number is greater than 0 the loop will continue so once the number becomes either 0 or less than 0 the loop will end it the control will come out inside the while while block so what will happen that this number 
we are dividing the same modulo sign modulo sign and then we are taking the digit and we are putting into the digit after that we got the digit extracted and it has been stored in digit and now we are dividing the same number with 10 the number is same as this statement is same as number is equal to number divided by 10 this is a compound a compound operator i have used here and now i am printing the digit and this will print the on all the digits of that number so let's just take one example and i'll just dry run so that everything will be clear here so i am taking this number 875 okay let's only three in otherwise it will take some extra time so now this is the int num and digit so i have one variable at any of the address and the, there is another one uh, this is y y y y and the name of this is number and here it is digit now i am saying printf enter the number scanf and scanf now i have taken the number as 875 and i have stored the same number into the num variable so number has been stored here and now i am using while loop so while loop and now the says number and then i'll say let's take one variable as a digit num yeah so to have so now this one at this time what what is the value i'll take digit this side so the number is eight seven five here is it greater than zero yes it is so now it will come inside this one so now digit is equal to num the modulo sign is 10 so here the number is 875 and we are using modulo sign modulo sign and then using the 10 so what we will get we will get the last digit i mean the this one 5 so this statement will give 5 okay so we got the digit 5 now we are what we are doing we are dividing the same number by 10 so this is the number okay so number as of now we have 875 and now what we are doing we are dividing the same number with by 10 so after dividing this one what will happen it will give 87 so we have divided number 875 by 10 so what we get 87 the same number will be stored in num because we are storing after dividing the same number into the same place so this will be updated here and now it will store as 87 okay now printf so we are printing the digit so what we, what is the value of digit okay here it was 5 so now let's say this is our console so it will print 5 okay now again the control will come here and now it will check whether the number is greater than 0 so now what is the value inside the number 87 so is this correct yeah a statement is correct so again it will it will go here and again it will divide i mean take out the digit by using modulus sign so what is the number 87 and after running this statement we will get 7 so this will be updated because here it will be 7 because earlier the digit value was a storing 5 now it is a storing as a 7 and now what we are doing we are again dividing the same number by 10 so we have 87 and then we are dividing by 10 so we are getting 8 and now the 8 will be stored here okay i'm just taking here yeah. 8 is stored and now we are printing digit so now while printing what we will print this one 7 okay now again control will come here and then it will check whether the number is greater than 0 so what is the number 8 okay so number is 8 greater than 0 yes that's correct so now again it will use digit sign and then it will divide by 10 so after dividing what we will get this was the last step which i told you about that what is the digit value digit is what is the number number value is as of now 8 
and then we are dividing with 10 so we won't be able to divide because the 8 is already a smaller so in that case what we will do we will get the 0 and here we will 0 and we will get the 8 after executing this statement the digit will store 8 and now there is a number uh, as of now in number the value is 8 now we are dividing the same number by 10 so what we will get this one as a 0 so uh, this num will be updated as a 0 okay now it will print as a digit so what is the store uh, stored in digit is 8 okay these are this this is our output screen and now again the control will come here and then it will check num is greater than 0 what what is the value as of now in num it says 0 so 0 is greater than 0 no that statement is false and then control will directly come out from here and then we will get the output as a 578 so we have taken this number and we will get this one so this was the our approach that how to get the extract the digit from the digit of a number so i'll just write the same program on computer and then i'll just show you the output and after that i'll show you some more examples